G'day guys, Luke here from Australian Off-Road. Um, we're going to start with quite an easy one, but it is one that has been brought up um, from people's responses to the videos just asking for this. Uh, now we're in a Quantum Plus here, and the main thing that I want to highlight in this trailer, which will be the same in some of the other models, is where to switch between water tanks. So this is for general use between sinks, showers, um, obviously you do assign a tank because you've got two individual tanks in standard scenarios. Um, so we'll touch on this now. now in the trailers where you've got an internal table, so this is your Quantum Plus, um, your Matrix models and then your Aurora, the synergy is a bit different so we bypass that one out of this conversation. The table is removable obviously, so if we look at this one, we can lift this table off, like so, so this can come out of the equation. Just so you can clearly see now, when we're in here where the wheel arch is, there's always a lift up hatch. Now this lift up hatch gives you access to two taps, again in a standard scenario, so we'll touch on that in a second, but in a standard trailer you've got two water tanks, which is front tank, rear tank. Now here we can see these two taps, if you think of the position of where they are in the trailer, the one towards the front of the trailer is going to be for the front tank, the one towards the rear of the trailer is going to be for the rear tank. Now in this one we've got the rear tank switched on, the front tank is switched off. So in terms of usage of water for again showers, sinks, this is inside and outside, we are drawing everything off the rear tank. If I switch this one off, turn the front one on, then this now means that the draw is coming from the front tank. Now just to elaborate a bit more on this, again in a standard scenario your toilet will always pull off the rear tank. So regardless of what you do with these two taps, the toilet will draw from the rear tank and that is all designed for weight distribution so in other words you've always got weight in the rear tank to keep your toilet going which is in turn is offsetting your ball weight. The only change that you would see in this area is going to be either A the additional 60 litre tank gets added in sharing the same plumbing which would then give you a third tap and again positionally, the, positionally how they are located in here would replicate how they are positioned on the trailer. So you'd have front, middle, rear. The only other change as well to that is if you add the additional 16 as a drinking tank. That will not change anything in terms of the plumbing, but you may see a second pump in this area which is then isolated for that tank. Um, hopefully that makes sense, but again, just to reiterate, predominantly we would say run off the front tank to keep water in that rear tank and then counter your bowl weight as much as possible by drawing the water out of the front first.